This is a demo of the watch extensions for the Satellite Watcher app. Here is the normal watch display for the Apple Watch. If we swipe down from the top, we see the notification. And here's the notification that was sent from the app running on the phone telling us of the arrival of NOAA 3 date, time, and maximum elevation. If we sweep up, the notification goes away. If we sweep up from the bottom, we go into the glance view for the watch extension. Here we can see uh, the name of the satellite, the AOS in countdown format, the length of the pass in minutes, and the maximum elevation. If you don't really need any more information than this, which is quite often all you're looking for, swipe down from the top, uh, you'll go back to the main screen. If while you're looking at the glance view, you decide that you want more information, you can tap on the screen and this brings up the actual app rather than the glance view that we were just looking at. This shows the azimuth, elevation, uh, AOS again in countdown format, the length of the pass, and the maximum elevation of the pass. This uh, is updating as you can probably see and it will update all the values on this screen automatically. Uh, if you swipe from the left to the right you will get a image of this pretty much standard tracking map that shows the track of the satellite, your location, the coverage circle, uh, the usual stuff. Uh, it looks a little funky here on the video, but um, it looks really quite nice on the watch. So if we sweep from left to right, we go back to this screen. We can press the home button to get back to the main watch display. If we press it again, we go to the home page and there is the icon for the Sat Watcher application. If we tap on it, we will go directly to the Sat Watcher app. Uh, I find it a little more convenient to get to the Sat Watcher app from the glance view, but uh, both of them are available. So I think that's it. 73s.